Hey folks, I'm your host Brett Rasmussen and you're watching Back to School, your guide to riding backcountry terrain Rasmussen style. In this episode, we'll be explaining advanced rider positions. Crowding up on the sled is not that easy given the placement of the handlebars. So let's start by looking at the handlebar placement. Ideally, I need to place the bars such that they bring me closer to the weight mass of the sled, which is the engine. This is true for all brands. For the Skidoo Summit, I like the bars forward and lowered, bringing my position closer to the weight mass of the sled. Tilting the bar riser will move the bars forward, but they will swing in a weird arc, and worse than that, during a full lock counter steer, that position will put the bars in front of the post, pulling the rider across the center of the sled. This puts him at a leverage disadvantage. The right way to move the bars up would be to install a post forward block kit, moving the steering post forward. Now that the bars are forward, we need to establish the correct height for the rider. Of course, taller guys need taller bars. This needs to be determined while the rider is in an aggressive, neutral riding position, knees bent, back straight. The lower bars will pull the rider forward and keep them out of his face while in a wrong foot forward rider position with sled on its edge. Now that the bars are in the right place, let's ride. During a climb in the neutral position, the rider's feet should be back on the running boards enough to allow him to push his torso over the bars. Ascending in the wrong foot forward position will allow the rider to get a little more forward than in the neutral position because the handlebars in a counter steer will be swung forward. During a descent in the neutral position, the rider should place his knees into the console, bracing his torso such that he is not pushing off the handlebars with his hands and arms. This will allow for more freedom of movement in using the handlebar controls. If the rider is in the wrong foot forward position, he should also have one knee in the console and free leg stretching forward. Pro tip. The rule here is that the lower the bars are, the more technical terrain you can enter and more easily maintain control. An exercise. Practice riding up on the sled in all situations. As you become more comfortable with this, you will find that it will take less rider input to manage the sled because you are closer to the weight mass. Thanks for watching Back to School. In the next episode, we'll be discussing proactive snowmobile control. If you find these tutorials helpful and want the full experience, we'd love to have you join us on the mountain. Get details about our in-person clinics at riderasmussenstyle.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.